So now we come to interior insulation. It, a problem that I've had in this area is there's not many dedicated insulation contractors that will do cellulose or fiberglass. There's like one or maybe two in the area. And I haven't gotten quotes from them yet, even though I've tried. They, I, I don't know, they just don't return my calls. So I guess I'm just gonna have to do it on my own. You know, I'm not, I'm not giving up on getting a quote from them, but it's not that hard of a job. I just wanted somebody else to do it because it would be faster and done because it's cold out. <clears throat> High of today of 56, but right now it's um, 36 inside and this is actually downstairs and it's 42 down there but we're forecast to have a really cold portion of the week coming. You know, it is December in Pennsylvania. I'm surprised we haven't had more snow. Anyways, what I'm doing here is I, I had some scrap foam downstairs and I just made these baffles up and I glued them up. So the way I do it is it's a, uh, it's, 22 and a half inches wide, well, a little less, 22 and a quarter, by four feet long. And there's blocks hot glued on the other side of it. And then I hot glue the panel up to the roof. And then I'm gonna use the can foam around the perimeter just to like lock it in place. So I guess I'll show you cutting it, which isn't too exciting, as you can imagine. I also have to rip these down to four feet. So one sheet does four bays. And a four foot section will allow me to fill up to 24 inches of insulation, which is a little bit more than I need. So that works out perfect. So these are the baffles that I'm putting up. And it has these blocks on it, which allow a, you know, an airstream to flow up between the roof sheathing and the foam. So the insulation that I'll blow in, like cellulose, isn't gonna clog up the, the rafters for the uh, soffits, yes. And the reason this is important is that if you don't, have enough insulation on the roof, 
against the roof, then you get ice dams because the heat rises up through the insulation if you don't have enough melts the snow and then once it gets off the edge of the you know to the overhang then it freezes and that creates an ice dam but if you have airflow that allows your roof to stay cold through natural convection um, through the soffits and this pot glue is pretty good for gluing these blocks on And it helps if the glue gun's plugged in. I also blocked off the ends here. And my ultimate intention here is to uh, get a quote from Spay Foam for Spray Foam for just that foam section of the, the perimeter. And I, I want to do that because Right, right there I have like 24 inches of height and really need like a minimum of 20 inches. But down here I only have like 14 inches of height, no 12. Uh, and 12 inches of insulation is not enough to prevent ice dams. So I need a little extra performance there and I can get that by using spray foam. <laughs> 